Hello, poor people. I'm back, as promised. Um, I'm doing a pour. I'm going to pour on one of my um, peeled and gessoed canvases. Um, <clears throat> see how it works. And I am decided to go with the, the monthly challenge and do the bottle bottom pour. Here's the bottle bottom. Um, but I'm also going to do it as a, a flip cup with a bottle bottom. Something like that. Anyway, I've got um, quinacridone magenta. Um, what is this? Cadmium yellow deep hue. Um, cadmium red light hue. And I've added titanium white to the yellow to make it a little more opaque. And I've added a little bit of black to one magenta to make it um, a dark plum. So, there we go. Ta-da! Set these to the side. I did put a little drop of silicone in each one. Just for kicks. And the bird decided to squawk and carry on. Sheena, your opinion means nothing. Sorry about that. Um, I'm using a square canvas, which I don't really like square canvases. I'm not sure why. Um, I think they're too symmetrical. I prefer rectangular um, over square. But I think, <laughs> I think the bottle bottom pour would work really well with um, a square canvas. So we shall see. Um, this is just white. See? This is a Floetrol bottle with a, a, it's a, it's house paint and Floetrol. Um, the little squeezy bottle top fits right on it. It's nice. And I just want a little base coat to make things slippery. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I was looking for my my cake decorating tool. What's it called? I don't know. <laughs> Sheena, I'm not impressed. Sheena, the noisy parrot, is an adopted bird, a rescue really. She was kind of from an abused situation. She's about 30 years old, and she is not a nice creature. She likes the taste of flesh, human flesh, as far as I can tell. Um, and I've had her probably for about 10 years. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I don't really care if this is, um, it doesn't really have to be smooth. Because I'm just doing a, I mean, all the paint will push it off the canvas anyway. So it should be fine. And of course I use my shirt. Because that's what it's for. Um, here's my little pour bottle. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. First in, last out. Okay. I'm just going to start pouring these. Ugh. Still a little, I think a little thick. I'm going to squish a little water in them. They've been sitting for a while and they thickened up. <clears throat> Let's 
it's always a good to check if you've mixed your paints and then when you go to pour it's always good to check before you actually pour um, because a lot of paint will thicken up when it's been sitting there even even 10 15 minutes sometimes it'll it'll thicken and some colors are worse than others black um, some kind of brown it might have been burnt umber I don't know but it thickens up really good white sometimes that ends up being a little thicker okay those look good of course now I've mixed the water in and I put the silicone in before that and so it's all going to be all mixed so we'll see what happens there um, I'm going to start with my yellow and then I'm going to go with my no magenta plum or dark magenta whatever you'd like to call it this says it's red but looks awfully orange to me and I'm pouring it down the side of the cup so it's a little more layered the layers are a little more um, defined And that should be enough in there. Um, where's my little cup? Oh, there it is. And here's my little flip cup. I'm just pouring the rest of whatever I got in there. It's a lot of orange. Hopefully it doesn't go wild. Okay, this should be interesting. There's my little flip cup. Oh, okay. This is a bigger canvas and I can't seem to hold it. I got it. Ooh. Not centered. There. And I did that so that when I lift the cup, there'll be paint underneath, even though it would fall in. Um, I've actually got some neat cells going on already. So here we go. I'm doing the um, the little ringy dingies, or I guess you don't really have to twirl it, but I think it looks cool that way. I wish you could see the bottom of my cup right now. It's just I'm not going really slow. I'm just kind of. So far, I like what's going on. I like the colors. So you can just pour it in one spot for this too. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Nice. Nice. Okay. That's pretty. I'll let it.
do whatever. Oh, I think I am going to give it a quick torch. Um, just to get rid of the air bubbles and stuff before we start doing anything. My white paint I shook up in the bottle. So there might be a lot of little air bubbles in there. Not too bad, actually. Okay. I'm going to do my flip cup in the middle. Or what do you think? Should I stretch it first? I think I am going to stretch it a little bit. Now I should have lined the lines up so they were um, maybe lined up with the corners. Maybe not though. I like the design. It's leaving that flip cup in the middle is making cool little swirls as the paint goes around it. That's kind of neat. I have a spot of blue, which I have no idea where blue came from. I used no blue. Put it all back in the middle. Moving the weight back. Now, as soon as your paint, like, goes over an edge, the pattern will start stretching. It's like whatever's there will stay there. And it gets um, locked on that spot. So it starts stretching the pattern you have. Well, that looks cool so far. Um, now for the flip. Okay, that's interesting. This little grayish white part I'm not too keen on, but we'll see how this goes. And I am going to keep up with my swirling. I'm pouring it over the edge there. I really like this little line. I want to try to... We'll see what happens when I do this. Now I'm pretty much just trying to get some kind of interesting composition. I've got the kind of the colors where I want them. Colorful. I'm not sure about having the flip cup in the middle though. I'm thinking, I don't know if I would have liked it better if it was just the straight bottle top pour. 
I just don't know. We'll see what happens. I probably don't need to torch it, but I'm going to. Because I like fire. Hang on, I need to fill my thing. Oh, where is it? Well, I don't know where it is. I'll just do what I can do. It's not bad though, it's pretty. The yellow stayed pretty yellow, which is good. That's what I was hoping for. That's actually why I put a little white in it to try to make it a little more opaque so it didn't blend through and get kind of funky. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. So there you go. It's poor. Um, let me get the camera down and I'll show you all this. These are the details. The color sucks. Not the color of the canvas, the color on the camera. It's very yellow and orange and magenta, and that's not showing up on the camera at all. It's right this way. I don't know, maybe I'll adjust my white balance or something.